Who doesn't like a great workspace in Photoshop? Utilizing the program to its full capabilities and keeping your workflows going and going and going throughout the art process. That's why today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the best workspace setup, in my opinion, that you guys can also download in the description of this video. I'm gonna take you through steps of creating shortcuts, where you should actually place your windows, and more. As always, be sure to support me on Patreon if you guys enjoy this content. Link is below, or it's CastleScope Patreon. Helps a great deal in creating great content and continuing to do so. Let's get right into the video. So for the purpose of this video, I have Photoshop set up just like this, how you would get it your first time. And this is where a lot of people just stop and they don't even reset their workspace. So let's go ahead and just make everything essentially we're gonna use. Let's take out color from there, swatches, gradients, just right clicking and, and getting rid of it. Close it, properties, close that, adjustments, close it, libraries, close it, boom, okay? Now look at the difference that you already have. You have your layers, channels, and paths all there. Paths you don't even really use either. The three important things that I usually use when I'm doing Photoshop is definitely my properties so that I can actually control my adjustments. Like if I'm having a, like if I put a hue and saturation, let's just say I put that on, I want it to be on this, this outside of here, right? So I can just close it down quickly after and not even have to click any buttons, but be able to close it down quickly because you're going to always use properties and you're probably going to always use libraries as well, right? So. I'm going to stack these on their own, right? So they were here attached to this piece. I don't even want them here. I want them on the outside, right? I want these on the outside properties, libraries. And the last one is colors because you are going to want to change your colors a lot of the time. They're pretty important. Okay. So let's just bring our color here. Now, how am I going to change these to have their own shortcut? So you can go to this window keyboard shortcuts, right? So go to window, go to workspace, and then go keyboard shortcuts and menus. All right. And make sure that you click onto keyboard shortcuts. Now, once you're on keyboard shortcuts, here's what we're going to do. We're going to assign our own keyboard shortcuts for properties, color, and libraries, because they're all going to be tabbed to the outside and they won't be stationarily set in Photoshop so that we can hide them once we're done with them. So go to window, drag all the way down until you see properties for the first one. And you guys see right here, I have it as F2. So set the keyboard shortcut as something that you're going to remember. Um, whether you're on, if you're on a Mac, it's going to be a little bit different, but for windows F2, definitely just use F2. That's fine. And then you're going to hit accept. Okay. If it gives you a notification, like this is going to affect something else. That's fine. Just let it do that. Let it do its thing. Second, you're going to go F3. Just go right in a row. So just go F3 cause it's right next to it. So you're going to go F3 for your libraries. And then for your colors, I hit F4. Okay. So F4 is for my colors. Okay, so F2, properties, F3, F2, properties, F3, libraries, and F4, color. So this should actually be to the left so that it's all in a row. So you can hit accept once you're done with that. Make sure that you hit accept after you're done with all of them. Now, when I want to bring something up, I'm just hitting F2 on my keyboard. So see how I'm just hitting F2 on my keyboard, hit F3 for my libraries, hit F4 for my colors. This is going to make you have way less stress when you're trying to set up your libraries and it's just clean. So have your properties, libraries, color, layers, channels. How do you save this workspace, right? So you can just go to window, go to workspace, and then you're going to go to new workspace. And then I'm just going to title this YouTube tutorial workspace. Make sure that you have clicked on all of these. Right. So click on all of these so that it saves the correct way. Then you're just going to hit OK. So now when you go to your Windows workspace, so go to Window Workspace and you see right there, YouTube Tutorial Workspace. It's going to be right there. It's going to be automatically saved for you. So you could just change that. So I changed the graphing web, go back to it and let's just check F2, F3, F4. Yes, it's saved correctly. So I'm going to show you guys the directory of where your workspaces actually go when you save them in Photoshop. So if you go wherever you download a Photoshop, for me, it's going to be in program files, Adobe, right? And then I hit Photoshop. After that, you go to required and then you go to workspaces and wherever you save your workspace or whenever you save your workspace, it should be in this required space of the workspaces. That's why I have this Scope 04 
2423 saved here that I'm going to link for you guys to use if you want to just download this one. Super easy and it's pretty much the exact same that I just showed you guys on the tutorial today. So that would mean the same thing. You're going to download that file, go to program files, Adobe, wherever you download a Photoshop, you're going to go to the required workspaces and then you would just paste in the file that you download from this video or you could just make it yourself if you followed along and you'll be good to go.